Well, soon we will find out how Mayor Curry wants to spend your tax dollars, but today we learn more about where some of that money will go when it comes to fire protection. The fire department laid out its wish list, and News for Jacks reporter Jim Pickett shows us what the fire department says it needs to make Jacksonville safer. So here at JFRD, they are looking for an increase in their budget. I'd say it's about a 12% increase over last year. But the things that they're looking for in this has to deal with overtime because of COVID. They also want to look at building three new fire stations and staffing those fire stations and a new Marine unit to help because of problems near the Buckman Bridge. It was in February when emergency units responded to the shrimp boat accident near the Buckman Bridge. It takes about 25 minutes for JFRD crews to arrive to that area, even though Jacksonville has three marine units. None are located on the south side. That's why in this upcoming budget, the fire chief wants to see the city spend over a million dollars and team up with NAS Jacks and put a unit on the Navy base. That area of the Buckman Bridge area is a wide area of the river. There's a lot of boating accidents. A lot of people get in the water down there. So we just need to be able to get down there in a quicker amount of time to be able to save lives. That's just one area the fire department wants to see grow. There are other plans to build three new fire stations, including one near this site in E-Town off 9B on the far south side. The others near Hearts Road and Dunn Avenue on the north side and at Firestone Road near Wilson on the west side. One area taking a chunk out of the fire department's budget is overtime because of COVID. Most recently, when the seven search and rescue staff contracted the virus while working at the Miami condo collapse. Well, obviously, it's affecting our, the overtime piece of our budget um, because of because of the number of people that we had to have in quarantine or that were out due to COVID. We it increased our overtime budget, and we're preparing for that in the upcoming budget year as well. The fire department was the last to present its budget request. There's a larger pot of money this year to draw from because the city's tax base is growing, and look for some major projects to be announced. That includes about half a billion dollars in capital improvements which are the nuts and bolts of, of what people experience. Uh, infrastructure, roads, sidewalks, pedestrian crossings, drainage projects, the things that we're gonna need to do to build a more resilient city in storms. That's where a half a billion dollars is gonna be invested. The mayor will present that budget a week from Tuesday. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.